first, I just want to add it like this. So you can see. Try to find my good angle. Here. Am I getting a good size? All right, that's my first step. And then maybe you wanna draw a curved line, like a smile here. Or maybe bring it down a bit. Like we can still go over it though, so don't worry. And then up. And start shading. I don't want to waste my time, so you don't have to watch so long. And then, and this one here, I don't want to smudge it. I just want to see. Um, I, I like to see the the stroke, the the line, lift them blend together naturally. I don't have to smudge it. I mean. To begin with, I suggest you guys to have a photograph or maybe um, someone else is drawing as a guideline for you so you know where to put the light, especially when you don't have the actual object with you because that's kind of hard when you think to put a um, shading area like when you try to shade it, like, like what I'm doing right now. If you want to make it light, just do it light. I mean, like, don't put more pressure on it. Like, um, do it soft. And then I start putting more pressure if I want to make it darker. Can you see it? Right. Right. I'm trying to work on the shadow as well today. Right. Draw a li line here for you to help you that it, it has to be just no line there. I mean, leave it light. You're trying to create the shape of the pair. Oops, not so much. Don't make it darker, Darius. Yeah. Putting the shading, like working on the shading, is actually interesting. Try it. Like, don't be afraid of making any mistake. Wow. Well, hopefully, you can follow along. So always go back to the first one, um, first um, line you made. If you think you have to put more pressure on it, go ahead. All right. Okay. Oh, I just realized it's. The shading is like on the left again. Why the shadow? I mean, the source of the light always comes from the right. Maybe because I'm right handed? Mm, maybe. Alright, and darker this part again. Make it stronger. Alright, can you see? Can you 
you can do double hitting. All right, now I want to work in the shadow. I just move it a bit like this. First, I might draw. Look, this is imagination only. So I don't really see the shadow fall. So it might be about yeah here. And usually, the shadow is gonna be so dark when it close to the object, and then. It's slightly lighter, like become lighter when it's um, like far apart from the object. So you can do it like this. All right, maybe it's here. Not to smudge it. I don't want to smudge it. Maybe like this. And I still want to see my my pencil stroke. I like it like that. If you want to make it soft, then you have to smudge it. You can use tissue. You can use cotton stick. And you can use another tools like. Um, smudging stump you can buy it in an um, art shop okay I think this is it yeah Ta -da! right I hope you enjoy it and you can learn bye for now